Hi guys, I hope you are doing good despite what's really happening in the world. Wow, it's really crazy times at the moment. And I have been kind of focusing on my writing and during these times because I feel like my writing is something I control, there's something I can do, but everything that's going on in the world, I can't really control that. So I'm trying to focus all my energy into writing. And I have a guest here today because my little kitty, Maya, is here. It's the time of the day when she always wants to cuddle, so it doesn't matter what I do, I still have to cuddle. She turned 14 years old uh, on Monday, so she's really happy and she got some toys. And what I realized is that I may be late to the party, but I have been using Final Draft, I think, for six years maybe. And I have never used the revision mode. And recently I have been starting to use it and I was amazed. So I figured, hey, maybe there's some other people out there that hasn't really been using it. And I thought I'd just share it. So in this video, we are going to talk about the revision mode in Final Draft. Stay tuned. Hi guys, if we haven't met, my name is Maria and I'm one of the creators behind another character. We love screenwriting and in this channel we are talking about screenwriting, go figure. And we are talking about our writing process, our experience and different topics within writing. So if you love screenwriting and storytelling and writing and you know what, anything about writing, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that little notification button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So the revision mode. So before we jump into final draft, I just want to say that this video is not sponsored by anyone. I just love final draft and I have been using it for six years. I mean, I'm sure if you're using another software, I'm sure you they will have something similar to the revision mode. Anyway, I think the main function for the revision mode is to make it way more simpler to see what changes that has been made. Uh, for example, if I'm reading Michelle's script uh, and she lets me read another version of it, like a new version, and she's using the revision mode, I can see the changes in the script. Let's jump into Final Draft and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in Final Draft. Uh, sorry, my script is in Swedish, but I usually write in Swedish and in English. So this one is in Swedish. Uh, but it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. It doesn't really matter what it means down here. Uh, so what you would do with, with the revision mode, um, to use it, you go up here to production, and then you hit that revision mode. And if you want to double check it's on, you can go back and you see this little check mark over here. That means it's on. So if you change something, something cool will happen. So snun, which means snow in, in Swedish. So if you would change that word to snow, see, it gets a little star over here. It's called a asterisk, something like that. Oh. Um, but yeah, this little star shows that something over here has changed. And to make it more obvious what had changed, let's do some settings. So let's go into production again. And then you go over to revisions. Uh, and here you can see like you can add different colors um, for different versions, I guess. So this option you can also is like the labels, but I'm not really familiar with the labels yet. So if someone has good ideas for the labels, please let me know. So anyway, uh, you can see here is like the revision moves on and you show active revision set and you are in the red one. So what happens is since you have changed a word and it's still black, it's because you had the color black. So if you change this one to a color, let's do red because I don't really like, I don't think blue will show that much or yellow. So I, I like red. So I pick red and now I should hit okay. 
And what you can see here, snow is red. So that means when someone is reading it, Michelle probably, or someone else, she can see, oh, she changed the word. And if you would go further and you would like write more stuff, see, I went down, so I got a star there too. And I would like, Sophia goes into the store. See, it's all red. I will probably just down, jump down there. So what you can see here, I don't know what the star over here, I think it was because I had a blank space here. And so the red one is, um, yeah, change the changes. So what you can do now is if you sh send this to Michelle and she's reading through and she's like, yeah, the things are good. She saw the red ones, but she wants to add more feedback because let's say you have done lots of stuff. So it's a lot of red stuff um, and she has more feedback on that and maybe other stuff as well. So if you want to like do another color so you can keep them away, like first the red ones and then maybe blue. Okay, I didn't like blue, so maybe put green then. So what you can do is go back, go back to revisions. And if you click next here, it means you will go back to the next one. Next. Uh, and the color. So let's see here. Okay, I didn't go, so the green. So you see it's black here. So what I will do is make it real green. And I click, okay. So what will happen now? Oh, I forgot something. You need to... Click this one. Show all revision sets. Because if you don't, it will only see the green ones if you're in the green. And if you're in the red one, it will only show the red. So if you go to the green and you click that, it will automatically put on the other one as well. So anyway, let's see here. So now when I change something, let's change this word. Two. It's two in Swedish. Two. So now you see it's a green one. So if I would keep writing over here, uh, the stars is still the same. Um, let's write um, Sophia. Oops. Okay, it's a heading. Let's say I write another scene. Interior, house, night. It's all green. So this makes it easier because you can see what happened like in the process of writing. First you got the red and then you got the green. Um, and what you also can do if you want to change the star, you can write, you can change this one. But I like the star and you can even change like the underline dot the line strike out but I like it the way it is. So the revision mode is really helpful because imagine if like you're working a big production where like hundreds of crew members and you are like the screenwriter uh, director are um, making some changes in the script and they are sending it out to all the people that need to know it and they can just say, here's a new version. I changed some stuff in like the scene 12, you can see it. So when people actually go into the script and read through it, they can actually see the changes and that will be so much helpful. Uh, so people won't miss any changes. Besides, I'm starting to use the revision mode way more now. So when Michelle reads my script and I have a feature and it's about 90 pages long and she can just see the changes easier and like notice them because and, and it's even easier for me when I look through my script and I can actually see my changes uh, because it's hard to like keep everything in your head all the time and, and even if you're reading someone else's script and you might not remember all the specific details so if you don't use the revision mode they may not see the changes or if you just want to have like a quick uh, feedback session 
they will see the changes right away. So you can just look at them and you might not have to read through the whole script over again, if not necessarily. But I do make copies of my screenplay because if I'm in the seventh draft and do a lot of changes, I may say save it down to the eighth draft uh, and so on. Because if I remove something like a big scene and then I later on change my mind, I can always go back to the first version. So I save it like just in case. So I hope this was helpful and I'll probably learn more about the Revision Moon as I keep going on writing and using it. Uh, but if you know tips and tricks about the Revision Mode, please add a comment below so me and other people can learn too. And if you want to learn more about formatting rules, please watch this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And please stay safe. Wash your hands, keep on writing, I'll see you in the next one. Hello.